Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to another commentary. Today is actually my birthday, so what better way to celebrate it than play the celebration dragon himself, Kokokan, with the old school Kokokan skin. Uh, he used to be Al Quang a long time ago. Well, not get into that because I finally kind of got used to calling him the right way. So, start off with, of course, the shoes of the focus. I want to have the magical, well, not the, the, the mana, mainly, uh, not only for my passive, but also for myself, as well as some cooldown reduction. Pretty good altogether. We are with double hunter, it can work out, we do need to be a bit careful because we don't really have as much peel for each other. So we just need to straight up kill them if we want to do something with it. Um, and that's definitely something that you have to take into consideration when you have a combo like this. Uh, it needs to be performed well enough to make it work. Luckily enough the Kumba Khan actually didn't notice that our uh, our Thor was that low because I'm, he might have been able to pick him up. He used his uh, hammer as well as I think his stun as well so Kumba Khan probably could have just used his 2 to finish him off. But he didn't notice which is great. I took a little bit too much poke from the minions though so I'll just ha I had to head back. Get a health potion as well, because spending the 1500 gold on the shoes of the focus, you won't have any gold left to do anything else, so usually useful to get back early. Um, in between wave is preferable, uh, because you won't lose as much experience or gold. Which is very important, especially experience in the early stages is a lot more important than gold. And when it comes down to the later stages, even though experience is still very important, uh, making sure you have enough... Uh, gold in a later stage is probably more important than levels. If you're a level behind, it doesn't matter as much if you have, for instance, 1 or 2k gold more than the opponent, because you will have an additional item or additional levels in your item, which is probably a lot more useful. So, uh, I'll go for a full mana build. Going in Book of Thoth, uh, maybe in a Warlock Sash as well, depending on how the game is going. Um, I'm, I won't always go for a Warlock Sash. Ooh, that's a bad route. He actually teleported in, wasn't able to do anything with it, and therefore got rooted by the Neath. Their team rotated. Actually, Susano had his ultimate as well, kind of guaranteed it. I'm not even sure if it hit him, but uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, he probably should not have teleported in, but that's all fine. We can all make mistakes. This one cost him his life and our first blood. But that can always happen. Nice stun by the Acne actually. He is bled out. Oh no. Oh, no. That's Sanctuary. If he didn't use that Sanctuary it would have been fine. I would have had the kill guaranteed. Uh, he had two ticks left when he popped the Sanctuary with one being enough to pick up that kill. Even though I don't do an awful lot of damage with the Tornado it would have been enough. Unfortunate. But the Sanctuary is down so that might be easier for us to pick up Susano. Well, um, in a later stage. I mean, it is a pretty long cooldown. I think it's something like 160 seconds. I'm not entirely sure. But a good amount of uh, time. Get that blue at least. Make sure that I can sustain my mana. They did buff Kokokon a bit because uh, I think his mana cost on his 3 used to be like 150 on the maximum rank, which is insane. Still a lot. Ooh, nice ultimate by the Thor, by the way. This can result in a kill. Ooh, that's unfortunate. The Thor got picked up as well. So that is now a 2 for 2. Actually, a 3 for 2. The Agni got picked up in the left side as well. That is unfortunate. But the fact that we were able to pick up 2 is very good as well. Uh, I really wanted to get that blue buff. I could have rotated a little bit sooner, but I'm not sure if I would have been able to save the Thor. Not the Thor, actually. I think it was the... Not sure. Might have been the Chiron. I'm not entirely sure about it. Chiron or... Uh... Oh, nice. Calder picks up the kill. Scotty probably will die. She's behind the tower lines and surrounded by a lot after being altered by the Kumba Karna. Not an awful lot you can do. But something I can do is definitely pick up these back harpies. Make sure I get some additional gold in my pocket. And head out with a Book of Thoth. And, well, 
being level 9 helps out a lot as well because with my ultimate at rank, additional rank and my ultimate, not my ultimate, my 3 as well, the tornado will be very useful. 110 mana, it used to be 150 so it's a lot better for Kukulkan at the moment because, well, he had so many mana issues back then. Um, just, especially in the early game if you used like 3 tornadoes you would have been out of mana. Which is very, very rough to deal with. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I thought the stun would come out as well. Uh, otherwise, the tornado might have been connected. But doesn't matter too much. Uh, at this point, I have my Book of Thought. That is a very good, very good power spike for a Kukulkan. Uh, because he gets some additional power from the conversion from mana to uh, power. Which is very good. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Well, it is a Susano. Nice Thor dunk. He actually walks into my tornado. That will probably result in his death. Actually, hitting both with my ultimate. The Susano walked the right distance. Wouldn't... Well, the right way. Wouldn't been able to survive anyway. But might be able... Uh, Kyron will not be able to survive this one, though. Uh, no one in the kill um, threshold. And with that, he can't really survive himself. Or revive himself with his ultimate. It is an option, it is a very good one. If we were able if he waited a little bit and we were able to do a little bit more damage to the opponent, then it might have been enough for him to actually get that last hit. But since he kind of fired them very quickly, we didn't really have time to deal the damage. And sometimes you kinda of want to wait with it. Um, even though it is quite difficult of course to hit it from a longer distance if they uh, would have retreated. But since I have 2 0 and 2, I will go for the uh, Warlock Sash next because I will get it online pretty quickly. And since I'm Kokokan, I shouldn't be too much of an issue to kind of stack those up. Especially because my clear is just very, very good altogether. Uh, should be fine. Decent amount of damage on the Neath. Unfortunately enough, Kumakan is there as well. They are able to pick up the Skadi. Can't really chase up to them that easily. My ultimate might be able to hit someone. It hits the Susano. <laughs> nice. Uh, that secures him. Uh, kind of traded a little bit. Not making it a full two for nothing. I was able to pick up the Susano. It is unfortunate that again two of our teammates died. Uh, I have been able to pick up a good amount of experience and gold for myself though. So that will definitely help out. Because I, uh, as I get more levels... Especially my 1, my 3 and my ultimate are very important in the team fight because they will do so much damage. Um, as well as just provide a good amount of control. You don't really want to stand in a tornado. You don't want to be hit by a Kokokon ultimate. Definitely not to want to get hit by a Kokokon ultimate. And this will also grant me my second relic very quickly. As you can see I'm already level 12. Actually the highest... Next to me is the enemy Neath, who is only level 10, so when it comes to experience, I'm doing very, very well for myself. Getting a lot of experience, and the fact that I got 3 out of the 5 kills uh, definitely works out very well as well. But, at this point, I have enough gold for the Warlock Sash, heading back, getting that one online, stack for the stacking of course, and this is definitely going to be a Sanctuary game. They have a good amount of power with additional, well, with a few of them. Um, of course, the uh, Vamana can run me down with his ultimate. You have the Neath uh, arrows, multiple arrows. If there's, for instance, a uh, weave on the ground, then if she detonates it, it's a lot of damage. So maybe I can deter it, as well as the dam damage from Susanna ultimate, um, or maybe uh, just some dot damage. Is he walking into it? No, the Susano is actually walking into it. Might be able to pick him up. On oh, he's sanctuary. Uh, don't my one was off the mark as well, but uh, with that it is just a bit unfortunate. I kind of figured he would go for an ultimate. Doesn't look like he will. Bit off the mark was the spirit arrow. Use my sanctuary to avoid as much damage as I can. Kind of try to wiggle my way out of this one, and it looks like Scotty has the uh, Kumbakana. So definitely a good one. I was able to survive. It did cost me both of my. Wow. <laughs> well, that is something I mentioned. Uh, being something you want to sanctuary that was a detonation and a spirit arrow direct hit on the Scotty being from half health to zero instantly unfortunate um, we were able to pick up the Kumba so but I wasn't able to survive but both of my relics are down so I need to be a little bit careful uh, heading into the next fight or engagement 
because without those, uh, especially without my ultimate as well, I don't have anything to really peel for myself. I have the damage on my tornado and I can stand in my tornado, but I don't think it will be enough to kind of deter the enemy from really killing me. Because, well, I am a very squishy target, I don't have my Warlock Sash stacked up just yet. I will go for Breastplate, um, the reason for it is of course they have three physicals and their main damage source are all the physicals. Because if you look at the magicals, it takes a very long time for a Aphrodite to come online. And Kumakana, even though he da does have a good amount of uh, damage, it's mainly single target. And with that, I feel like I don't really need magical protection. As well as the physical protection I get from the uh, breastplate will deter a lot of the damage from the Susano who can confirm a lot of... Oh, I wasn't paying any attention. I'm really in a tough spot, rooted for a very long time, able to slow the Kuma Khan. I might be able to wiggle my way out of this one actually. Uh, Neith is still on pursuit. She is in range, I need to be careful. She is looking for that basic. Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. She is able to confirm that basic. It is very difficult to juke out of course. Where well, you can't even see her. Um, I tried. I was able to juke out two, a bit, uh, two basics. She is it picked up in the end. So it is a one for one. But it's kind of in their favor. I think. I'm not sure if the need was on a killing spree as well. But otherwise I was on a killing spree for having three kills without any deaths. So they get a little bit more gold out of it. Uh, if she wasn't. I'm not sure about it though. Also something very good about the breastplate is of course the cooldown reduction. Bringing me up to 30% cooldown reduction which is very good for Kukulkan having the ultimate a little bit more online. But it also provides me mana and mana provides me more power. So if you take a look at it, it provides me 100 additional going from rank 2 to rank 3. And that's even additional more uh, power for me. As well as with the Book of Toth. Uh, just and the Warlock Sash. Every single item I have has additional mana. So I don't have an awful lot of mana issues with the way I built this. I might be able to... Oh, the Sazano Sanctuary was just barely still on. Uh, I figured my ultimate would have been on time. As for uh, when the Sanctuary would have run out. Just barely not. A bit too early on the hit. It is unfortunate. Nothing I can do about it really. And well, I tried, I guess. <laughs> Fortunately enough, I wasn't able to trade out anything. So, um, yeah. I like I like this build on Kakulkan specifically because he's so good at kind of, uh, well, uh, stacking up. He has a lot of uh, clear with his tornado. He can just place it down, clears and wave instantly without even looking at it. Can just walk away and it is kind of free to go. Decent amount of damage can I place. Actually, she's walking in that direction. I figured she would walk in the other direction. Susano didn't expect it though. He walked into that one. Uh, my ultimate might be a hit. As you can see, against the wall. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> nice Aphrodite ultimate though. Uh, she was able to avoid my ultimate with it. Was very well timed. Uh, she knew she would have been hit if she didn't. And, well, avoided my ultimate in its entirety. Well played by the Aphrodite. It was a well pl uh, placed ultimate by myself as well because she. I either had the choice of running back towards us, resulting in a kill probably, or she was a force in walking in a straight line uh, next to the wall, and that would have been a resulted. It would have resulted in a hit with my ultimate, and it did. But unfortunately enough, of course, she had her ultimate. So, like I said, she had really good awareness of, am I able to do dodge? There was no opportunity to dodge, so uh, getting out of that one fairly easily. I will get some penetration, that way I can hit something. Um, the baby, the Vamana, is also building some protection, Susano as well, as well as the Kumbakana. So getting some uh, penetration online will help out a lot. I will go for Spear of the Magus first, probably, um, because it also removes flat pen from the others a little bit better. And especially because it's a little bit earlier, um, I think it's a bit better. But we'll have to see about it. Uh, I might change up my build if it becomes necessary because in the later stages of the game the healing from the Aphrodite becomes more important as well and a lot more potent. Uh, in the early stages you don't have to fear its healing, her healing that much uh, I feel like. It doesn't do too much healing especially at the earliest levels which are already passed. Uh, level 1 to uh, level 10 I think is like it's okay healing it's not too but it's not too good to be honest. You really need somewhat of power or increased healing with, for instance, a Rot of Asclepius to kind of get the healing going as a Aphrodite. And, well, that takes time, of course. 
So not an awful lot going on just yet. I see, feel like everyone is looking for somewhat of an engagement. Uh, Susano trying to look for an angle to go in. Actually hitting both with the slow. Susano hit with my tornado as well. It will not be enough to finish him off. And I couldn't really chase down uh, the Susano. He has of course two escapes. As well as the fact that uh, Nice is there as well. And if I don't pay any attention to her. She'll probably just kill me very quickly. Because she has a lot of damage. You've seen it. She blew up that Scotty in like one spirit arrow. Where she was like 60-50% health. Very powerful. Scotty in a bit of an awkward spot. Is altered by the Kumbakana. I might be able to assist. Um, kind of zoned out to the right side. Around that pillar. Ultimate hit. Again a Sanctuary. They have a lot of Sanctuaries I think. Also the ultimate. Oh come on. It would have been a kill. Twice. Twice a very good opportunity for a kill. On the Vamana. First time with my ultimate. Was Sanctuaried out by himself. And afterwards uh, the... Aphrodite again very good ultimate to prevent some of my tornado damage and uh, th this allowed the uh, Vamana to survive again and heal up with his ultimate. Again well played by the Aphrodite as well as the Vamana to be honest. Just good reaction times. It is a downside of the uh, Kokoka and he is very very obvious. I mean he has a uh, tornado that takes some time to place. His one has a little bit of charge up time. I can't aim for shit. Uh, <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. Okay. Um, also, the ultimate is very telegraphic. You can hear it. You can, uh, well, sense. Ah, oh, basic off the mark. I'm not even sure if it was in range. Um, might have been able to pick up the Neath. Bit unfortunate. But as you can see, the cooldown is working out pretty well. Kumakana from behind. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Although the Suzano is here as well. He's waiting for his abilities very well. Might ah, oh, that's really really rough. Sanctuary, not the best timing on my part. Um, Susano recognized that I used my sanctuary before he used any of his abilities, and I used my sanctuary to prevent the damage from his abilities. So that kind of deterred the effectiveness of my sanctuary in a way that it had no use whatsoever. So, okay, my final item will be uh, the Jamf Isolation. I feel like it will help out a lot against the mobility of them. They do have escapes, but when they're slowed, when they have a tornado on them, with the additional slow, it will just uh, kind of deter them from running away afterwards, so their uh, escape isn't as, as reliant. But, eh, I feel like, even though Jamf is a very good option, I think we need to deal with the heal at this point. Um, the heal is very annoying. The heal, especially because they also have a Vamana. Vamana heal is very good as well when he is in his big baby. Deterring that somewhat is a very good option. Uh, Thor went for Brawler's Beat Stick as well. And combining with the Divine Rune is a very good amount of healing reduction. It also provides some mana. I'll go for an ultimate. Oh, that's unfortunate. They were so grouped up. Uh, they didn't know where it was. They weren't lined up anymore. Didn't hit anyone. That's unfortunate. Um, it, I feel felt like it was worth the risk. Because, well, it's... It is down now, but it's not down for very long because I have a good amount of cooldown reduction. And maybe... I'm not sure why the Susano teleports. <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> he teleported into my tornado. Which resulted in his death, guaranteed. I don't mind. It's a free kill. I like free kills. Free kills are nice. And as you can see, actually the, the number above my portrait is the amount of power I get, I get from my mana. And this is actually an entire item, a very good item, like for instance Rod's Hooty or um, Spear of the Magus kind of additional power. 154 power for my entire mana. And that's because uh, 5 items I actually have finished all have additional mana and this provides me even more power. Uh, I might switch up my build a bit according to where the game is going. If uh, this is going well I'll keep it this way. But if there is need to be a change, for instance, if the Spear of the Magus isn't really working out or I want to just deal more damage with my 1 and my ult instantly without stacking up the Spear of the Magus, I might go for an Obsidian Chart if they have enough defense because it will be more, uh, more useful that way. Also, if the healing reduction doesn't work out in our favor that much... Oh, that ult! <laughs> oh my god, they lined up perfectly for that one. That backflap is definitely not going to save the... Uh, Neath in that case Triple hit on that ultimate Baby did survive is able to get away, but uh, we should be fine 
Fortunately enough, wasn't able to save the Scotty, but with that ultimate, we were able to pick up two of them. Actually, three of them would. Okay, so definitely worked out in our favor. Definitely nice ultimate. It's a, it feels so good when you have so that kind of an ultimate where you're just lining it up perfectly and they're all getting hit. Like it's like hitting a strike with bowling or something like that, or a bullseye, or just it it feels great. Especially with the cork and it's such a long charge of time, it has to travel. Uh, but when you hit, it has a huge impact. As you saw there, I finished off two instantly and uh, knocked up and dealt a huge amount of damage to the other one. So, again, not I'm not too worried against a Kumbakan as well as a Vamana. I do have a good amount of health, even though not too much. I mean, uh, if you look at it, I have my Warlock Sash. Fully stacked up, which is 600 additional health, and I have only 2325 health. It's not an awful lot. Um, I don't have any additional health items, because I didn't went for a uh, gem. But still, it is an awful... It's not an awful lot. And although I do have some physical defense, uh, I shouldn't fight, for instance, a... Neath on my own, probably, unless of course I can get a good ability combination off. But otherwise I don't feel like it's the best option to fight a hunt. Probably also not the Susano. Although, with Susano I feel like if he has uh, done his abilities... Ooh, actually triple hit with my ultimate. They all have defense, so it didn't do too much. But uh, it will kind of lower their health pools a bit. I feel like it doesn't do too much damage. I really need to change it up. Uh, the Spear of the Magus is... Not really working out in my favor that much, so I'll just head back and probably switch up my build a bit. Um, because if I don't hit that much, uh, what's the use, kind of? But, never mind. Let's just uh, f see how it works out. Um, if it definitely, if it really doesn't work out, I'll change it up. But I feel like if I get rid of my healing reduction, it needs to be for some something really good. Because it provides so much in the long run. Decent amount of damage on the opponents. They are going to be able to heal up a bit with the uh, Aphrodite. Actually, Neath on the right side going for the Phoenix. Scotty is there to defend, so this should be fine. Um, I'll just try and keep as many as I can in this side of the lane. Because if they all go to the right side, they might be able to catch someone off guard. Especially the Scotty, which is very, very susceptible to ganks. And as you can see, uh, I at least cut off the... Uh, the Aphrodite, she can't really go after her team. Ooh, missed that one. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's see. Can I at least... Ooh, it actually is a hit. Decent amount of damage. As you can see, 145 per hit. Uh, I am surrounded, so I do need to be a bit careful. Decent amount of damage on Susano. Probably not too much. And I feel like the damage isn't great. But... Actually, that Sever deals a lot of damage. Of course, the Aphrodite doesn't have any magical defense. She is... Uh... I think she doesn't have any b defense built. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if she doesn't have any physical defense, but she doesn't have any magical defense. And 620 is definitely a good number for a Sephir. Although they did increase the scaling on it l recently, not too long ago. So it is still very potent. Four of the enemies, well, three of the enemies were down. Actually, Agni picked up by the Valmana. Well, that's rough. I think that was a one on two, but okay. Uh, that is unfortunate. We are able to pick up the tower though on the left side. We might be able to pick up the right side as well if we are able to gank him. Actually, Susano kind of stops my escape. Let's see. Let's put down a tornado. Nice ultimate by the Thor, but he was still magi Sanctuary again. Can you stop? Oh, Soul River used as well. A lot of damage on the Kumakan as you saw there. Very nice uh, amount of damage. He has the Soul Reaver and that one de definitely procced. And he has a good amount of power um, and some penetration with the uh, pen boots as well as the void stone. So he does do a good amount of damage and I do need to be a bit more careful around the Kumakana. Because as you saw there he just hit his uh, second ability as well as his ultimate. And that kind of finished me off. Um, okay so I switched up two items. Getting rid of the spear of the magi will help out with the burst damage I can deal with my ult and my one. Uh, this will make sure that I don't have to hit my tornado to get the full effectiveness out of my ultimate ammo one. Also, um, 
switched up the divine rune because I okay, okay hear me out so the healing is very important on their team we do have some healing reduction but I feel like that if I don't go for the straight up power I won't be able to burst someone and if I'm not able to burst someone they'll just retreat nobody can really chase up to someone except for the Thor with his ultimate but that, that didn't really work out in our favor this entire game just yet and he's also only level 70 as you can see this is a very good amount of damage I have on my one now and the amount of power I have is just insane 905 magical power uh, of course with my passive in addition as well I didn't want to get rid of my breastplate I was thinking about that one as well uh, but by getting getting rid of the breastplate I not only make sure that I don't have as much cooldown reduction but I also uh, have to kind of deal more with the physical uh, damage dealers as well as I lose some mana, and the mana provides me some power as well. I mean, I have 150 power, give or take, for my passive, and I have about 3000 mana, which 300 is provided by the breastplate. So that means that uh, I've, I, got, I get like 15, 15 power from my breastplate. It is not an awful lot, but it is a decent amount, uh, just getting for free, basically. So I, I felt like... Um, Giving 15 power, 75 protections, 20% cooldown reduction, and just more mana altogether. Uh, I don't really want to give that one up just yet. I feel like this is probably the best build I can go for. Uh, it will be very difficult now, because they are at the fire giant, they probably picked it up. We are forced to kind of defend this one, because there are fire minions on both sides. Both phoenixes are down, and with this it will be very difficult for us, because... Uh, I think I haven't really uh, been able to kind of turn around or see someone else turn around a game where both phoenixes were lost in clash but we'll have to see if we're able to do that it is going pretty okay in my opinion oh my god they dove it so hard well uh, I don't think we'll be able to turn this game around I'm not entirely sure why but I just got that kind of gut feeling that it doesn't really is going to uh, Mm -mm. No, no. Anyway, it was, in my opinion, a pretty good game. It was unfortunate the hunters really uh, weren't able to get it going that much. As you can see, 5 and 12, uh, Scotty as well as a 1 and 5, uh, Chiron. It is unfortunate if they were go, uh, but also a 4 and 8, Thor. So, 3 were really struggling. Um, we were both kind of. Well, I feel like Acne and I did pretty good. I mean, if you look at this lifeline, it's pretty good. Uh, but that's not the only thing you always need to look at. It's also how were you performing in team fights, etc., etc. I felt like I did a pretty decent job. Was able to kind of help from time to time. But I feel like we didn't have the best team fights altogether, of course. Uh, they have just a lot more disruption in their composition. And I feel like in the end, it kind of comes down to the composition they have. They have the Vamana, which is very good at diving in the back line, just getting in the faces of the hunters or whatever. Aphrodite, good support, able to survive or save someone multiple times. As you probably noticed already, she used her ultimates at very good moments. Um, a couple of ultimates denied, as well as uh, a couple of kills with my tornado. Four of them had Sanctuary, so that's difficult to deal with as well. As well as the fact that Susano is pretty good with his pull, with his damage, with his knockup ultimate. Kumagana very good at disrupting with his mass. Um, as well as ultimates for the setup. Neath did a lot of damage as well. Uh, the spirit arrow is always an ability you don't ever want to underestimate. And you always need to kind of uh, keep track where the weaves are. Because if you don't keep track of them compared to where the Neath is. You might see yourself being blown up to pieces. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I have nothing really special I have to do this day. So I'll just do whatever I want. Play some smite or something like that. Just uh, make it a relaxed day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this game. As always, good luck, have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.